Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes, 35 listings, another big day. So let's get right to it. If you want daily listings of homes sent right to your inbox, as soon as they happen, basically instantly matching any criteria you want. So if you only want four bedroom semis, we can do that. You only want rural or a certain school district, we can set all of that up very, very simply. You just need to go to MiltonMarketWatch.com. Okay, so let's do this. So today, uh, we're going to do a compare and contrast versus just kind of market value pricing versus underpricing. So this one on Maple, number 113, you take probably, I don't want to say a hit, but you're kind of a little more conservative on pricing when you're on the first floor. I guess there's a perceived security risk, even though, as we've said many times in Milton Daily Homes, you're not in the ghetto. Anyway, there's the house, It's or there's the condo, pardon me. Although it's 1190 square feet, it's bigger than some bungalows out there. Uh, you're facing a decent direction. Uh, that's actually a nice view, a twilight view, and, uh, and a lot of space there too. So this one should sell for a lot more than 449 I sold a one bedroom plus a den at 893 square feet, 300 square feet smaller. Uh, I sold that for more money than this one's listed for. So 1422 McDermott Way, 525. This model has sold many times over six. So now we're in an interesting position because if an agent underlists something with the intention of selling for more, uh, it's usually kind of spelled out and it's also you have a chance to kind of talk to the agent. This one is through Com Free, and and it's a different business model. So they have a thing called Offer Assist that, uh, you know, they'll they'll uh, I guess assist the owner with negotiating. Um, I find when it's a call center kind of environment, what I'm concerned with sometimes is there's not the on the ground experience uh, with the home with the comparables. That's one downside to that. And just the fact, I think they closed at 8 p.m. And I mean, I've done a lot of business past 8 p.m. Uh, and the other thing is there's no real expectations or anything mentioned in the broker comments about when they're taking offers. And in a, it's different if it's one one-on-one, -on -one. you go back and forth. But in a multiple offer situation, like this one's probably gonna uh, create, um, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's, I get a little nervous with my buyers because there's just a real lack of, of kind of normal interaction that we find. This is still a human business and the in-person stuff still matters. Same thing with this on Van Fleet. So the, the previous one is an Amesbury model. It's 1130 square feet. This is uh, 1270 square feet. And that's called the Bolton model, 1275, I think. And 550, I mean, this should sell for a lot more than 550, especially with a finished basement. Like I'm thinking, you know, if it shows well, they get a chance at mid sixes on this one. This one on Bar Crescent, another one, you look at the pricing, you say, man, 649 for an 1850 square foot home. You're going to see the one that we have on Zelinsky pricing at fair value at 799. It's 150 less. And there's arguments for this one even going above 800, right? Uh, it could be high sevens, but the point is, is 649 is uh, is pretty low for a home like this, and not perfect inside. That's why I think it may not hit the eight. But this size of home for a semi-detached, if you track the market, you watch sale prices, you know that it's worth more than that. So same size home, same model as Zelinsky too on Hepburn, busier street, obviously compared to Zelinsky, six ninety nine, holding back on offers. Uh, I'll show you the one that we have listed, and uh, I would say finish wise, there's differences, right? This one has crown moldings. Uh, the one we listed didn't. The island can be moved around, so you could put a uh, a kitchen table there. Uh, very, very dark floors. The stairs are almost like where they, if they get scratched, that you can notice them a lot. And then you've got your uh, side door to an entrance in the basement, but there's no pictures in this gallery of 20 of any basement apartment. So 
I think it's good to put that out there uh, in the gallery because if people miss it there and they don't see it in the description, uh, it may be something where you know it's it's probably not obvious. And I think you have to be overt about your best features, but expect this one to sell for a lot more than this on offer night. So this one on Duncan's kind of interesting because it has the firewall right here, but it's not like it's sort of flush to the home as it's kind of flush with the next home and you have this big kind of wall ball. Uh, it looks like kind of a half finished brunch right here or something. It just has a bit of an odd look to it. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if birds perched on top here. So here we go with Zelinsky. So you can see three semis within $150,000 asking price, but the intrinsic value, uh, in my opinion, is obviously a lot closer to this, uh, taking offers anytime. So this whole multiple offer thing, if you have scarcity of supply, different story, but we've seen like we've seen 120 listings come out in the next or in the last three days. Uh, so our belief was, hey, we'll put it out where we think is fair. Uh, it shows really well inside. You've got a stamped concrete uh, front patio. It's also in the back. Uh, then you go inside front living dining room. And then you get back to the kitchen. There's a stone accent wall. There's, uh, there, there's some pot lights. And like I said, that island is movable. You can move this around. You can create a little more space for an eat-in. There's still space here. California shutters. You've got a limestone fireplace. And, uh, and then upstairs, you've got your four bedrooms. Plus, there's also laundry upstairs, too. And you are another thing about this one that I think is great, even compared to something like Hepburn, is that you've got a wider, deeper lot. And this home actually kind of starts on a curve, so it's pretty private. You don't really see it. And uh, ideal closing for this house is probably early June, but they could do later. So it's uh, there you go. Offers any time right there in the description. Transparent pricing. Next up, offers any time. 307 Dalglish Gardens, 899, 2100 square feet, two car parking in the driveway. Uh, just up the road from this home is Escarpment View Public School. Got lots of parks nearby. Come in the front door. There's a powder room just off to the side. Then you've got a living dining room. Uh, hardwood floors. You've got a family with a fireplace. And it also opens up. It's open concept here, but it's still closed off. Here's what some people forget is they say, can I blow this wall out? If it's too open, you have no wall anchors. You have nothing to kind of put furniture against. And uh, and having a wall, I think a lot of times a half wall is a great uh, thing for keeping it open, but also giving yourself options for where you can hang televisions and put couches against and all the rest of it. Uh, granite counters plus uh, you've got your backsplash and the under cabinet lighting. Main floor laundry, so you come right in from the garage, there's your laundry room, so it's a good place for, uh, you know, hockey equipment. It's, uh, it's a very handy mudroom, uh, four bedrooms upstairs, nicely landscaped and finished. Uh, you can tell right away when you come in this home that it's been very well kept. So there's the list. We had some announcements come out from the provincial government about some changes and some things that they're planning. I'll talk about this probably in tomorrow's episode, but the bottom line is it really doesn't affect a lot of people. It's a little bit of kind of smoke and mirrors for the average uh, buyer or seller. If you're an investor, if you live out of the country, uh, or if you're an elevator repairman, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Maybe it affects your life, but uh, for the rest of us, it's just business as usual. So uh, have yourself a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes.